Hi, boys and girls. We're going to do some English language um, in our orange and little um, puppy and kitty book. And for this week of April 20th, it starts on page 77. All right, and we're going to talk about he, she, it, and they. Okay, these are words that we use to take the place of nouns. All right, do you remember the nouns? What are the nouns? They are people, animals, places, or things. So what they want us to do here is read the choices inside each cake. Well, they're not really choices, they're clues. And each one of them belongs to either he, she, it, or they. So let's look in the first cake. We have Anne, Girl, Graham, and Mom, and Macy. Excuse me. I, are these, do these words belong to he, she, it or they. Anne, girl, Graham, or mom. Okay. All right, we know mom's not a he. We know a girl's not a he. But they are she. Watch out. So on the lawn, we're going to write she. From up here. You don't have to scratch anything out. All right, you're going to do the same thing with each of these clues. It's either going to be a he, a it if it's a thing, or a they if it's more than one. All right, and then on the bottom it says write this sentence, but you're going to use he, she, it, or they. The birthday cake is very sweet. All right. Would we call a birthday cake a he? Would we call a birthday cake a she? An it or a they? What would you call a birthday cake? It's not a person. It's not an animal. It is a thing. So, it. So, we have to put a capital letter at the beginning of our period. And it takes the place of the birthday cake. So, you're going to write, it is very sweet. All right, the rest you're going to finish. And then turn to 78. On page 78, you're filling in the blanks with he, she, it, or they. Remember, if it's the first word, it has to start with a capital letter. He made a snack. He is the grown-up. They will eat it. They are the children. And it is the snack. Okay, so you're going to fill in the blanks. He, she, it, or they. On 79... Now, this would all be in our seat work, spread out throughout the week, if we were in class. Let's do number one together on page 79. And we're still doing the same thing, he, she, it, or they. Read with me. Pam sits in the tent. Is Pam a he, a she, a it, or a they? Pam is a she. Capital S. Now read your sentence. She sits in the tent. Who is she? She's Pam. Okay, so you're going to do the rest of the page following those directions. All right, on page 80, this time it says, 
right? He, she, it, or they to pay, take the place of the underlined word in each sentence. Each sentence has some underlined words. Number one, Jenny lost her hippo. Jenny is a she. All my examples are she's. They keep they're letting the ladies go first, huh? They're using their good manners. All right, same thing. Make sure that you read the ones that are underlined. What if we skip to number three? Look at this one. This one's long. It says, Dad and Jenny looked all day. We know Dad's a he and Jenny's a she. What are they together, Dad and Jenny? He, she, it, or they. Dad and Jenny. They looked all day. So we're going to write they on the line. Do two of them together there. All right, now we're going to change the channel when we get to page 81. Because we're talking about punctuation at the end. We know when we tell somebody something, we use a period. I'm just going to put it up here. We know when we ask somebody a question, we use a question mark. And we know when it's an emergency or something very, very exciting, we use an exclamation mark. Macy's helping me. Excuse me. All right. It says, write the sentence from each pair. All right. We have two choices. That's a pair. Two. We have to read each one and pick the one that's a sentence. I will sing, will sing. Remember, a sentence has to have a capital letter at the beginning and punctuation, punctuation at the end. We have a capital I and a period. We have a lowercase and no punctuation. I will sing is a sentence. It tells you what I will do. What will I do? Sing. Who will sing? I will. So you're going to copy the sentence. Remember your period. And then it says circle the punctuation mark at the end of the sentence. So you're going to circle our period. All right. And you're going to do the rest of the page the same way. And then we have one more for this week. So we have some friends. It looks like they're at a little shop in town and they're all talking we see the little talking bubbles it says write the complete sentences so if we read what they're saying and it is a sentence we're going to copy it on the bottom here's the clue three kids are talking in sentences look at this little girl i got a rabbit that's a sentence, capital I, exclamation, so you will copy it. This little guy says, I asked for a rabbit, capital letter, period. See a lot, is that a sentence? It doesn't begin with the capital letter and it has no punctuation. If it's not a sentence, don't write it. A cat and a dog. No capital letter, no punctuation. They didn't finish it. Remember like in our reading book and you're supposed to finish it? A cat and a dog what? Maybe they played tag. Maybe they ran down the street. Maybe they slept on the sofa. But they didn't finish it, so it's not a sentence. Is your rabbit big? Capital letter, question mark. Okay, and of course they have to make sense. So you're going to copy the three that are sentences. All right, that's all for our um, English language book until the next week. So take your time, go through the, the pages, make sure that you write neatly and try your best. 
and I'll see you on this book next time.